Our first topic is computing unit rates. Some common unit rates are speed, such as miles per hour, gas mileage, miles per gallon, and hourly wages, dollars per hour. We're going to create a ratio and divide the numbers. Our example says that Dan ran 20 miles in four hours. What was his average speed in miles per hour? So we're going to set it up as a ratio, and in this case, because there's two different units, it's actually considered a rate. So 20 miles over 4 hours. And a unit rate means your denominator is 1. And if we want to get our denominator to be 1, we would take that 4 and we would divide it by 4. And whatever you do to the denominator, you need to do the numerator. So we're going to divide our numerator by 4 also. 20 divided by 4 gives us 5, and our unit up there was miles. So Dan ran 5 miles in 1 hour. Notice our answer still has 2 units because it's a unit rate. Our next example says at the grocery store, a 12 ounce bottle of ketchup costs $1.44, and a 20 ounce bottle of ketchup costs $2.20. What is the better buy? For better buy, you're always going to take the price that was paid and divide it by whatever units you're talking about. In this case, we're talking about ounces. So our first ratio that we set up is $1.44 for 12 ounces. And then our other one would be $2.20 over 20 ounces. And now we need to divide. 144 divided by 12. 12 doesn't go into 1. 12 goes into 14 once, which would be 12. Get a remainder of 2 and bring down your 4. 12 goes into 24 twice evenly. So the 12 ounce bottle of ketchup costs 12 cents per ounce. For the other one, we're going to take our 220 and divide it by 20. 20 doesn't go into 2. 20 goes into 22 once with 2 left over. Bring down our 0. And 20 goes into 20 once with no remainder. So the 20 ounce bottle is 11 cents per ounce. And now comparing these two, 11 cents is cheaper than 12 cents, so the better buy would be your 20 ounce bottle. 